Hey, what's going on guys? In today's video, we're going to talk about 10 beginner mistakes YouTuber make so that you can avoid them and focus on growing your channel fast. Now, I made a lot of mistakes on my channel, but that didn't stop me from creating videos. And I hope through making this video, you can learn from my mistakes. All right, starting with mistake number one is not uploading YouTube videos consistently. I used to upload videos inconsistently and this really prevented my channel from growing because it's a known fact that if you start uploading videos at a consistent rate, you will automatically see the numbers of subscribers growing. Once I realized that and put my heart into it, I committed myself to upload one video every week. From there on, my channel started to grow faster and it took me less than a year to reach 1,000 subscribers. I recommend starting off with one video upload every week. If you're able to upload more videos, even better because the more you upload to your YouTube channel, the more choices you give your subscribers and potential subscribers. Mistake number two is uploading short videos. Now it's okay to upload short videos every now and then, I do that sometimes too, but you generally should consider uploading videos that are longer because those tend to perform better than shorter videos. YouTube favors times watched, which is the total amount of accumulated minutes that people have spent watching your videos since you first published it. So it's better when a viewer watches five minutes of a 10 minute video than a three minute video from start to finish. The longer you can keep people watching your YouTube videos, the more content will get seen by others. Mistake number three is not sharing your YouTube videos on social media platforms. In order to get more views and engagement, really take the time to share your video on other social networks. When I upload a video on YouTube, I always promote it on Facebook and Instagram. Looking at my analytics, I can see that a lot of my viewers come from Facebook. A great tip I got from a friend who also creates YouTube videos here on YouTube told me to join different Facebook groups that are relevant to my niche and post my videos there. I joined like 15 to 20 Facebook groups and every time I have a new video that is relevant for the group, I post it in there. So mistake number four is having a broad channel. When I started out, I made all kinds of different videos. I uploaded travel videos, dance videos, music videos, vlogs, and short films. Having a broad channel confuses the channel's identity, resulting in less subscribers because viewers wouldn't really know what my channel is about. That is why I decided to create a specific channel for people that want to learn more about filmmaking and grow as a content creator on YouTube. This way, it's easier for me to build a strong following on YouTube and create a community with like-minded people. So be mindful about what your channel should be about and think about the audience you want to attract. Another important thing to mention is that when you create your videos, you really want to focus on bringing value to the audience. If you look at my channel, I like doing filmmaking tutorials where people can really learn how to create good videos. So think about what you want to give your audience. <sighs> So mistake number five is having bad audio. I can't stress this enough, audio plays such a huge role in the quality of your video. I actually have a dedicated video about this, which I highly recommend you check out. Now, if you want your videos to be seen by many people, make sure to invest in a good microphone. The last thing you want is people not understanding what you're saying because of the bad audio quality. Audio is half the viewing experience. So if you have a little bit of money on the side, the Rode Video Micro is a great option. That is the one I'm using right now. If you have money to spend, then go for the Rode Wireless Go, which is a compact wireless microphone that is really easy to use and produces good audio quality. Oh, I think an ant bit my ass. Let's move to another place. All right, moving on to mistake number six is not creating a playlist for your YouTube videos. Now, as you start uploading more videos on YouTube, you will get into specific areas within your niche. Now, I created different categories based on the videos I have done. So I have a playlist for mobile filmmaking, editing, gear review, YouTube growth, and more. By breaking my channel down into categories, the viewers won't have to scroll through all of my videos to find what they are looking for. So mistake number seven is not making mistakes. Many people have the idea that their first video has to be perfect. Woof, woof. And because of that reason, they eventually never start a YouTube channel. The truth is the first video will never be perfect. 
Yo, was geht, Leute? Endlich habe ich meinen YouTube-Channel gegründet. Dankeschön, danke. Aber jetzt Ruhe. Es geht weiter. Really focus on doing better the next time. Learn and grow with every video you create. Mistake number eight is not having proper title for your videos. Having proper title is super important because people decide upon your title and thumbnail whether they should watch your video or not. You should pick a title that is relevant to the content of your video. You have to include keywords that people are searching for. This way, your video will more likely get seen by others. A great way for finding keywords is using the YouTube search bar. YouTube will suggest certain keywords for you that are popular. Using the YouTube search bar will not only give you a great idea, but also using these keywords in your video title will help optimize your video. A great tool I use to get the most out of my titles is TubeBuddy. They have a keyword explorer where I can type in my video ideas. The keyword explorer will tell me what related keywords I can use in my title. If the title I've picked has a high search volume and a low competition, which is good, there's a chance for my video to rank high on that topic. Now there's a free version that you can download. I use the pro version that costs nine bucks, but if you have less than a thousand subscribers, then you get 50% off. I prefer the pro version because it offers more useful features than the free version. And ever since I've used it, finding the right title has been really easy. If you want to know more about it, I have a link in the video description below. So the last mistake I would like to add on this is pressuring yourself that you deserve success. The first thing you have to focus on is really delivering value to your audience before you think about yourself. If you constantly tell yourself that you deserve more subscribers, more views, the only thing you're doing is pressuring yourself and eventually you will get frustrated. It doesn't matter how much work you put into your videos. I know a YouTuber that worked two weeks for a video but only got like a couple of hundred views from it. That video was actually really good, but you have to keep in mind that there are creators out there that produce great work but never get seen by the audience whereas other creators have decent content but experience a viral moment of success with millions of views and that's how YouTube works. It's like being an athlete. You can't expect to be successful after a year. It takes time and patience. Instead of beating yourself up for not getting lots of views, focus on optimizing your YouTube channel and analyzing your videos to see what went well, what not, what could be done differently. I can guarantee that this will help you get closer to reaching more views on YouTube. Really take the time to improve your content until you find growth. On YouTube, nobody deserves anything, including me. But I still want you to subscribe to my channel because without you, I won't be here. It's really important that you continuously learn about how YouTube works to optimize your channel's growth. By avoiding these common mistakes, you will be on the right track to growing a successful YouTube channel. Leave a thumbs up if this video helped you and let me know in the comment section below what kind of mistakes you have made when starting your YouTube channel. Subscribe so that you don't miss out on the next video. Follow me on Instagram at Bennett Grazer. And if you want to know how I reach 1000 subscribers within less than a year, I have a video on that as well. And if you're considering starting a YouTube channel, make sure to watch the second video as well. Thank you so much for watching. Don't give up on your dreams and I will see you in the next video, guys. Take care.